We've all been there, standing in the whisk aisle, looking at all these beautiful bottles, and just dreaming that we could take it all home. Then we wake up and realize we only have money for one. So it's barrel proof day. So if you could only buy one, which one you should buy? Welcome to Whisk Bank. My name is David. And today is Decision Day. The battle of the titans between two iconic brands and their trademark barrel proof bourbons. All right, first up, the Wild Turkey Rare Breed. So Wild Turkey says on its website that this is the original small batch barrel proof bourbon and it was first released in 1991. It is non-age stated but it is a blend of six, eight, and 12 year old bourbons and it is chill filtered. So the international version is non-chill filtered but the ones distributed in the US are chill filtered. The proof of this batch is 116.8 and the mash fill is 75% corn, 13% rye, and 12% barley. So next up is the Jack Daniels Single Barrel Barrel Proof. This was Jack Daniels first barrel proof whiskey released to the public in 2015. Jack Daniels pulls barrels from the upper levels of their cows for their single barrel bottlings. The proof of my bottle here is 127.8 but it varies between barrel to barrel and it could range anywhere between 125 to 140. The mash fill is 80% corn, 8% rye, and 12% barley. It is non-age stated, but it ranges between four to seven years old. All right, finally, to my favorite part, the drinking. Opening ceremonies. There we go, the pop. Okay, that was weak. The pop for this. A little bit better, but both kind of weak. The pores. Not the greatest pour. All right. Jack Daniels. That is a lot. All right. I'm going to let this open up for a couple of minutes. I'll be right back. All right. I'm back. On to the nose. First, the rare breed. Caramel, brown sugar, a hint of orange citrus, and some dark fruits, maybe like dark berries. It's very good. It's a very prototypical, fantastic bourbon nose. If I had to give a non-bourbon drinker, say, hey, this is what you're going to get in a good bourbon, this would be the nose. This would be it. All right, on to Jack Daniels. Ooh, okay, you get that Jack Daniels trademark banana right up front. But you get some caramel, cinnamon, slight apple crisp. It's not orange citrus, it's more like an apple type of nose. It kind of opens up to like a French toast instead of a banana nut bread. Very interesting, very unique. So for the nose, the winner, Rare Breed. This is very unique. I think there'll be times where I will want something like this, where it's more get banana forward, a little bit more, how do you say, sweet, a little bit more bread, more doughy. But this is the prototypical bourbon and you get the sweet, the citrus and the dark fruits. And so. For me, the rare breed one the nose. All right, let's move on to my favorite part and the most important, the palate. First up, the rare breed. Mmm, it's smooth. Get a little bit of caramel, brown sugar, almost like a toffee type of feel. Ooh. You get the rice spice, a hint of citrus, it really does match the nose. So you do get the, the caramel, the brown sugar, you do get the citrus and a little bit of dark fruits and the little bit of rice finish, uh, the rice spice. Um, wow, so the finish, decently long, you get a little bit of the oaky sweetness, but you do get that cocoa coffee bitterness as well, which I love because that makes it complex and makes it balanced. So you want to go for more of that sweetness. 
Ooh, this is one delicious bourbon. Next up, the Jack Daniels. Actually, you know what? Before I go on, let me reset the palate a little bit. All right, on to Jack Daniels. Ooh, so you do get that banana right away. You get the caramel, brown sugar. You do get a little bit of that apple crisp as well. That transferred from the nose. You do feel the proof on this one. The 127 really does where you get that Kentucky hug going all the way down. Ooh. At the end, it, you do get a little bit of that cinnamon, rice spice, and a little bit of the uh, honey sweetness. Almost feels like you ever go to a coffee shop and get some monkey bread. Especially if, there, if it has any type of banana flavor in it. You get the vanilla, you get the cinnamon, you get that nuttiness, as well as the, the bread. And so it's, it's a very desserty type of feel for the Jack Daniels. And the finish, it's pretty long. Get a little bit of the leather, the oaky as well, but I don't get that great, the coffee or the cocoa bitterness. It does finish with more of a banana type of aftertaste. So for the palette, the winner, Rare Breed. This is very good, don't get me wrong, but because of that banana forwardness, it, there's gonna be days where I want that. There are gonna be moods where I I think this would match better with either the food I had or the drinks I've had before. But in most cases, I would probably reach for the rare breed just because of the complex and the balance of the sweet, the citrus, a little bit of rice spice, and that copewell coffee bitterness at the, um, at the finish. All right, so the price for these two, in my market, this one ranges between $55 to $60, and the Jack Daniels ranges were between $60 to $70. The allocation, both are readily available. Style points, they're both the same. They're both self-worthy, they're both iconic. And so, will this go on my shelf? Yes. Will it be in the front? Probably not. All right, so the final verdict, if I could only buy one, which one would I buy? It is the Wild Turkey Rare Breed. So balanced, so complex. It's sweet, spice, citrus, and then the cocoa bitterness. Mwah. It is fantastic. Don't get me wrong. This is also delicious. But because of the banana forwardness and that uniqueness, it does, I need to be in the mood for that. So probably out of 10, I'll reach for this one seven or eight times over this one. And the fact that this is a little cheaper in my market doesn't really hurt. So again, if you could only buy one, buy the rare breed. Well, thanks for watching. If you like this content, push, push that like button and leave in the comments. Which one do you prefer? Also, if you want to know what reviews are going to be coming up in the next couple of weeks, watch my May Whiskey Haul video. That's going to contain most of the whiskeys that I'll be reviewing over the next couple of weeks. Also, if you do leave a comment on which ones you want to see, I'll do that one as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.